into with my unboxing from the last week's episode because I wanted to break it up because there was a lot of pops for you. And I wore my little new Mickey ears, but they don't really go with this outfit, so it's fine. Uh, let's keep going. So we're going to go right back into it. If you guys didn't see last week's video, go ahead and check it out and watch all of my new Disney unboxings that I got because it was a lot and a lot more to add. So you guys ready? Let's just go right in. So the final collection that I have for the Disney stuff that I just recently got was I'm starting a princess collection. So the princess collection means a lot to me because the princesses literally like they're what I started watching when I got into Disney. And my favorite princess growing up was Snow White. And now my favorite princess is Rapunzel. That's why I've had this shirt on. Um, because she just means the world to me. And I relate a lot to Rapunzel in terms of her personality and the way that she sees the world and the way she goes about things. And the show always has me crying and the movie has me crying. So I just absolutely love Rapunzel. So my collection is going to be the princesses with their villains. So it'll be the bottom row will be princesses and the top row is going to be their villains. It's going to be a really awesome concept, but I'm just starting it. So you're going to go ahead on this journey with me to see where I can take them next. So I have five pops to show you guys today that I was able to get during the holidays, which thank you guys again for everyone who sent me gifts. I'm so appreciative of it. Anyway, the ones I'm going to be opening today, we got Cinderella, we got Tiana, we got Jasmine, we got Snow White, so four of that collection. And then I decided to add this in last minute because there's some princesses that are not in the princess lineup that I think deserve it because they are brave and they're amazing and they're courageous and they have so many like attributions that people look up to them. So I also saw her and I wouldn't think I would really see her. I saw her when I was shopping and I couldn't not get her because this was amazing. I've never seen this pop in person. So I found Meg, I can't believe it. I absolutely love Hercules. So this was crazy that I found Meg in person. And even when I was checking out, the worker was like, we have this? And I was like, yeah, it's upstairs. She's like, oh my God, I'm gonna go run and grab one. Cause it was so cool to see. And she was like regular price, like $12. And so I was like, oh, if I add it to my princess collection, I can have her with other princesses. And then the villain I get is I have to just find Hades which I haven't found yet, but just so you guys can see, this is the rest of their collection and the other ones that they have. Getting the princesses, there's so many different versions of them and so many different ways that you can get them. But recently, well, I guess not recently, like the last year, they released some of them in a really cool set that I wanted all of them. So they released some like this, where they have with their little like design of it, like sometimes they're with other animals that are in it, like Ariel's with Sebastian and Aurora's with like a little chipmunk. So then they're all like on these little stands. I loved a lot. So I decided to start to get those. And then for the ones that weren't made in those, obviously I'll get some other ones. Okay, let's take a look at everything that we're gonna unbox for you guys. I'm so excited. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with our Princess Meg. And you know me, right away, I'm gonna tell you that I love the hair. The hair detail is amazing. And I feel like for her specifically, it brings you into her world. It brings you into the cartoon and it's just gorgeously done. And I love when a pop does that. Next up, let's unbox Snow White, the first princess. I absolutely love the coloration in hers. It just feels like you took a spot from the movie and took her out and made the pop. And I, I think it's just beautiful and gorgeous for that. Next up, we're gonna go with Tiana, who actually is my favorite out of all the ones I've collected so far. Not only is she just absolutely drop dead gorgeous because you know it's Tiana and she's amazing, but they added more detail to her, to her stand than the rest of the princesses, which I really enjoyed. Like there's the, the book there as well, which is actual Princess of Frog, and then she's holding Naveen, and then the plush is there too. It's perfect for her. Next up is Cinderella, 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 which is perfect because she actually has her sidekicks on her stand, which I love because it just makes it actually in the movie, and then you're able to get more than just her in the stand. And I love the color. Her bow is just gorgeous, but my pop did have a lot of paint issues, which kind of sucked. There's paint on her side and on her head, but it's okay, I'm fine with it. Next up is Jasmine, who's actually my least favorite of the collection. Not my least favorite princess, I absolutely love her, but I just feel like they did her dirty. They could have done more in her stand, like the other princesses, like add a sidekick in there, even add a boo, like just add someone else in there to make it more worth it rather than just her and a, a couple cushions. So recently I was able to find Lilo and I was very excited because I really, really wanted her and I wasn't sure which one I was gonna get with her because 
They have Lila with Pudge too, which I thought was really cool. And there's like an endless amount of stitch pops. The one I have so far is my little stitch and the little ride during the scene where they're like doing a bunch of stuff. So I love them a lot. I was able to get another kind of 50th anniversary one that I wasn't sure I was gonna pick up, but then Rachel went to Target and it released in our Target a day before it opened. And I was like, oh, you have to get this for me. I got the Queen of Hearts in the ride. Funny because like this is the classic ride that everyone goes on and it makes me really sick. So I can't really go on it. But I love going there and taking pictures and meeting Alice. So I was really excited to get the Queen of Hearts. I could put her with the collection because it would look really cool and I'm really excited. And along with that, Rachel was able to find me. She's been finding so many. She's been able to find me the White Rabbit. So now I can start actually expanding because right now I only have Alice, the Queen of Heart, and the King. So now I'm able to get more of the characters. This is the rest of them. So let's unbox these suckers. Don't be late for this very beautiful unboxing. I don't know. I just love the White Rabbit. He's one of my favorite characters in the whole movie besides Alice. And I think that they just did a great job with this pop. It really brings him to life. And I love the detail, like the clock, and you can actually see the time. Like, that's so cute. The Queen of Hearts next. Let's hope she doesn't chop off her head. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There's too many puns today. Alrighty then, here's a closer look at all of my princesses I have so far. Many more to go, and I can't wait to get their villains alongside them. Of course, I added everything to my Funko list, and Meg is the most expensive at 28. This is like my first like really delving deep into the princesses, and I'm really, really excited for it. And I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna do some like live actions in there as well, just because my favorite live actions are Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast, because they were just like, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And I do actually really like the pops for them too. And I've seen them a lot in person too. At different places I shop at, they have them. So maybe, we'll see. I don't know, that might be a lot more. But I'm just really excited for this collection. I'm so excited to share it with you guys and for you guys to go on this journey with me as I look for them. Let me know if you see them because I would definitely like see what I can get because obviously when I finish the princesses, I need to start getting their villains because it needs to be an entire set. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys watching every week and tuning in and we love making these videos for you guys. So go ahead and make sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one.